Thank you for tuning in. My name is Alexandra Hutchinson, and I'm a company artist with Dance Theater of Harlem. This is a conversation with the resonant choreographer of DTH, Robert Garland, about his ballet, New Bach, which was choreographed in 2001 to the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Enjoy. Thank you so much for speaking with me today, Mr. Garland. What has been your fondest memory as resident choreographer for Dance Theater of Harlem? My fondest memory. I think my fondest memory for Dance Theater of Harlem choreographing was when Arthur Mitchell approached me about my first ballet, Joplin Dances, that was choreographed for the illustrious Virginia Johnson. Um, I was told to go to talk to a woman in a room. Now, I'd had my degree from Juilliard already, but no one had ever taught me about what a development director was. And then I had to speak to a marketing person. I began to understand that there were many, many other people attached to this organization that kept it running. Um, and I think Ms. Mitchell knew that he was teaching me in that moment. So that's one of my fondest memories. What was your initial inspiration for the ballet Nubach? Uh, my initial inspiration for the ballet was the fact that Return had become a success. But you know, there were haters that were like, oh my God, you know, he used, if you use James Brown and Aretha Franklin, of course it's going to be successful. Of course, you know. And, um, and so I wanted to show people that what I was moving towards as a choreographic style could be accomplished within an entirely uh, classical context, um, hence the Bach. One of the most important um, aspects of New Bach for me is the idea that um, we are reinventing classicism. Mr. Mitchell often said that um, don't be classical, be classic. He understood classicism to be something that was vibrant and created in the moment while relying on our historic precedent. And so that is the basis and genesis of Nubach. Do you have a favorite section of Nubach? My favorite moment in the early years uh, was I had my principal dancers, Donald Williams and Tanya Wideman. And so you did the first movement happen, the second movement happen, and then to kind of break things up and bring it all home, I had two really beautiful dancers, um, one Panika Jones and I call her Griffith to open the um, third movement. And that moment for me with those two people were, was just uh, has been unrivaled because they would completely turn the whole ballet back around taking it from the somberness of the second movement into the third. So that's one of my favorite uh, moments. Please tell the story of the dress rehearsal for Nubach at the same time as 9-11. Uh, the technical rehearsal for Nubach had been scheduled. And so we met at Dancer of Harlem, I think it's 7.30 in the morning. Uh, we were to drive out to Purchase College to uh, do the lighting and the tech rehearsal as we call them, where we check the lighting and the costumes and the choreography. Right. And on the way there, um, we were riding over a, 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 a bridge and one of our dancers uh, said, uh, Orlando Pagan, had a radio at the time. And it was said, we were like, look over there. And we saw the smoke coming from a building. And Orlando was like, no, you guys, it's really serious. And so at that moment, we all began to understand that one plane had already flown in to the World Trade Center, literally over our heads because we were going over water. Um, we got to purchase and everyone was riveted around a television, the tech crew, the dancers, everyone. And so we gathered around and the rehearsal was canceled and we literally had to walk back to New York from the Bronx, which was um, just an eerie, eerie feeling. What is the ultimate takeaway that you would hope for the audience to have after seeing this ballet? The ultimate takeaway is the idea that there are things that sometimes people do not think go well together, even to this day. Um, I, at this moment right now, people are understanding that flesh tone tights and shoes for women of color maybe is a good thing. You know, when the woman that designed the costumes for my ballet, Nubach, have been doing that already for 20 years for Dance City of Harlem. 
So one of the takeaways is the idea that within these melding of these different ideas, the African-American, Africanist, uh, vernacular aesthetic combined with classical form and sound can yield things that have a new classicism to them, a wholly entirely new thing that um, our young people can rely on both from a historical precedent and from uh, a point of view that the art that they love, ballet, is held within their reach.